Take a great looking weekend. Thanks, Caitlin. All right. In the lead up to Election Day, a lot of people were feeling stress and anxiety. So now that Election Day is over, we still don't know the winner in the race for president. How are you feeling this morning? NBC Connecticut's Michael Fuller continues our team coverage with some advice from an expert. Definitely stressful. It definitely kept me up all night. Anxiety, stress, and fatigue. Those are the emotions and sentiments that some say they are feeling after Election Day and the uncertainty surrounding the race for president. I had to be to work at 11 o'clock last night. I maybe slept for like an hour last night just to find out that we don't know who is president still. Quentin Hebron says this election season has been all-consuming, but it shouldn't have to be. It is stressful on the strength that everybody in the country wants to know right now who is going to be leading us for the next eight years, four to eight years. This is important, knowing who's going to lead our country, but it shouldn't change your everyday livelihood. Lucky Coffee says her stress was at an all-time high, so she tried to find ways to combat it. It's just playing video games and just trying to watch TV and just take my mind off of things. So. I think all of us are looking for certainty. We're looking for some tiny sense of control. Dr. Laura Saunders is a psychologist at the Institute of Living. So what we need to do is shift our attention away from the things that we have no control over, taking good care of ourselves, leaning in to the people that are in our cohort or pod that we can um, feel more connected to, finding a, a little bit of gratitude um, in each day. So reshifting into the things that we do have control over as opposed to um, unfettered anxiety over the things we have no control over. And Dr. Saunders says if you follow the small steps, you'll see a big difference in how you feel and as you move through your every day. Reporting here in New Haven, Michael Fuller, NBC Connecticut News. About the only thing we can control right now is our attitudes.